Good day, and welcome to Math 111H Calculus 1 Honors, The Joys of X. Today we'll focus on what a student should know before taking calculus. A student should be confident in his or her pre-calc skills and algebraic manipulation skills before taking calculus. One needs to be proficient in these areas. In calculus, you'll learn new ideas, and it is important that you not be slowed down, that you need to spend a lot of time on working on pre-calc skills and algebraic manipulation while you're also trying to learn these other things. Let's start ta by talking about functions. A function assigns to each element in a domain exactly one element in the range. Keywords to know are domain, range, independent variable, dependent variable. Functions can be represented graphically by a picture, verbally by a story, for example, the population of the United States through the 20th century, numerically as a table of x and y values, or, or algebraically, for example, y equals x squared. Functions must pass the vertical line test, or they're not a function. That means if you draw a vertical line at any value of x, it will cross the curve of the function at most at one point. It's also important to have an idea of what mathematical modeling involves. And here are some of the steps of mathematical modeling, really basic introduction. One takes a real-world situation and formulates a mathematical model for it. It might be a linear model, it might be a quadratic model, it might involve higher-level mathematics. One works on the mathematical equations trying to solve them and obtains conclusions based on the mathematics. One should analyze the real-world implications of the results, that is, test the model. And if the results don't make sense, you return to step one. One example, is very standard in a calculus course, is you have a ladder leaning against a wall, and the bottom of the ladder is slipping and falling away from the wall. The question that's asked is, how fast is the top of the ladder falling? If one analyzes the equation, sets up the mathematical model, inputs the data that's known, and comes up with an answer that the top of the ladder is actually rising, you'd know that there's got to be something wrong in either the mathematics or in the way that you're modeling the problem. And you go back to step one, and you try to figure out how to improve your understanding. Some important terms that students should be familiar with before calculus are absolute value, odd and even functions, increasing and decreasing regions of a function, linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, and quintic equations. One ought to be able to solve linear and quadratic equations and graph simple linear, quadratic, and cubic curves. You should know the um, terms coefficients and degree, and you should know what rational functions and algebraic functions are. Some of the graphs you should be familiar with are simple polynomials, absolute value graphs, the function y equals 1 over x, basic trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, exponential functions, and logarithmic functions. You should also know the differences between certain forms of functions, th these function transforma transformations. You ought to know the difference between y equals f of x plus c and y equals f of x plus c the difference between y equals a constant times f of x and y equals f of a constant times x, and the difference between y equals negative f of x and y equals f of negative x. One should know what, a, what inverse functions are and how to find the inverse of a function. Inverses can be found only for one-to-one -one functions. These are functions that pass the horizontal line test. That is, a horizontal line can only cross through the function at most once at any y value. That no y value is hit more than once. You should know that logarithms are inverses of exponential functions, and you should also understand the inverse trigonometric functions, not only sine, cosine, and tangent, but arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. Let's take a moment for some math culture. At a major Ivy League university, there was a major problem in that the quarterback on the football team had flunked math and therefore could lose his eligibility to play. The public relations people were up in arms. After much haggling, the math department finally agreed to give the quarterback an oral exam. But as time was running out before the big game, 
it was decided that they would have to give an oral exam at midfield right before the game. The stadium was filled, and the quarterback was in front of the microphone on the 50-yard line, with the head of the math department standing with him. The head of the math department decided to start off with an easy question. He asked, what is 7 plus 8? The quarterback thought for a moment, then took off his helmet, and scratched his head, and then scratched his chin. And he answered hesitantly, I think, I think it's 15. All of a sudden, the coach runs out onto the field, waving his hands and yelling, Give him another chance. Give him another chance. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day, and may the power of math be with you.